General Bonaparte. Ah, come back another day. Madame Tallien is engaged. Today is her atombe. It's like fashion. Nowadays, it changes as easily as politicians. I've just spent a fortune on a golden wig, only to be told it's no longer in fashion. Now I have to cut it and have it restyled. It's better to cut your wig than lose your head. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <clears throat> A general bon appétit or something like that is here to see, madame. Bonaparte. Yes, show him in. A general? Which general? One without a post, on half pay. But it's easier for him to conceal his pride than to conceal his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, his bridges are riddled with holes. And cloth for uniforms is reserved for officers in active service. Oh, please, General, come let me introduce you. Madame Ricamier? Madame. Strange Welcome, General bird. Bonaparte. Nice to meet With you. The eyes of an eagle. Madame de Stal. Madame de Warnet. And Madame de Coigny. I am the young captive, General. <laughs> <laughs> the famous poem. You know, by Chenier. Oh. <laughs> the general must have been far too busy during the revolution to take an interest in poetry. I know what it is a soldier's life. I was married to an officer. Yes, General de Beauharnais. Charged with the surrender of the city of Mayence and guillotined. Yes, that was my husband. Who was nearly followed to the scaffold by his wife, but... For the grace of God. I would say more the caprice of politics. <laughs> Is it true, dear Rose, that you cut off your lovely curls rather than let the executioner mangle them? You make me appear vain and absurd to the general. On the contrary. To face death with pride takes courage, madame. It takes courage to face life alone with two children. General, I have some good news for you. I've managed to obtain a length of cloth. Enough for not just one pair of breeches, but two. Well, I thank you twice. I thank all of you. Do you want a cup of chocolate, General? It's hot. <laughs> it's delicious. We drank lots of it in the West Indies. In the West Indies? I was born there. My father owned a plantation with more than 200 slaves. It was a paradise of sunshine and sugar. Imagine, when I was a little girl, I used to bathe in a river among irises and orchids. I love to swim in it, naked. <laughs> I come from an island too, madame. But the women there rarely bathe. And when they do, it's fully dressed, all in black. Thank you again. General. <laughs> General. <laughs> General. <laughs> General, I've shocked you. A soldier shocked by ladies' words. It was not the words, madame. It was the image they evoked. The image of a little girl frolicking in the sun? Mm. Of a woman, naked. Beautiful image of you. Now I'm the one who's shocked. You shouldn't have taken the risk. The risk? Of being alone with me and the feelings you have aroused. You wouldn't there. No, no, not here, not now, but tomorrow when I see you again. Because you presume you'll see me again. Yes, I will. <laughs> Won't I? At what time tomorrow? This is the area that concerns me most. The Rue Saint-Honoré and the Palais Galité. If the rebels descend on us General, from Saint-Roch... Another good reason to act. Believe me, Barras. We cannot let a simple riot... A simple riot? Is that what you call 25,000 royalists storming the assembly to seize the deputies and destroy the Republic? What forces do you have? Your name again. General Bonaparte, currently without a command. No. 
Gone apart. Artillery, wasn't it? Right then. We have 4,000 men from the camp at Sablon and the General Manu. 4,000 against 25,000. No cannons? General Manu left them in Sablon with the excuse that they would slow him down. We need that artillery. Tell squadron leader Murat to retrieve those cannons. He's a human tidal wave. Nothing can stand in his way. At the moment, we have the artillery. We will position it like this. One battery here, another one here, another one on this bridge in line, and another one here. If the cannons come through, you'll take command of them. I warn you, citizen, that I follow a pledge to its end or mine. Don't ask me to answer for any blood that's shed. If I draw my sword, it will remain drowned until the order of the Republic is restored. What is the date? It's midnight. So it's now the 13th of Vendemiaire. Your appointment as chief of staff. It's up to you, you know. streets of Paris against Frenchmen? Against royalists, who are in league with the enemies of the nation. There are 40 English vessels off the coast of Brest, and 40,000 Austrians at the gates of Strasbourg. They are waiting for the Republic to be overthrown. They are waiting to invade France. This will not happen. I'm a general of the Republic, and I will not let it.
Général Le Bonaparte pour Madame de Beauharnais. Very good, General. Hello. 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 General, I see you've been taken captive by my children. Captivated, madam, not captive. <laughs> I'm no longer a child, Mama. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. I found him a position with General Hosh. I would say Hosh got the better part of the bargain. <laughs> what a splendid uniform, General. Can I touch it? It's pure wool, excellent quality. Are you turning into a fashion peacock? The new general of the Army of Italy can't come in in rags. The Army of Italy? Is this your reward for saving the Republic? Yes, a gift from Barras. Shall we go? Yes. Eugene is a very serious young man. He has a sense of discipline. If you were under my command, I'd make a fine soldier out of him. Hortense, on the other hand, uh, obviously needs a father. She's only 14. She looks older, doesn't she? Yes, but she's 14. I made inquiries. About my daughter? About the world around you. I, I know nearly everything about you, Josephine. <laughs> but my name, apparently, is Rose. <laughs> Your lovers call you Rose. Your husband has decided to call you Josephine. But my husband, General, is it's dead. dead, yes. The prior one. I'm talking about your new husband. My new husband? Yes, come now. There is nothing so extraordinary about a widow remarrying. No, not at all. Only that I don't have any prospect inside. You're looking at him, madame. 